I'm Nicholas Cage. Let's get Hey folks, and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today, you're gonna learn how to bleep out swear words in Premiere Pro. Let's get started here. I'm gonna open up my Premiere Pro. I have this clip from the History of Swear Words trailer. This is what it sounds like now. I'm Nicholas Cage. Let's get fun. Okay, so we are going to bleep out the F word here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is delete the audio where the F word is said. Let's get fun. So right here, I'm gonna lock my video clip and I'm gonna make a cut here, Command K. Make another cut, Command K, and I'm gonna delete this. Let's get fun. Okay, so we deleted the F word. Now let's add in that beep. Go ahead and check out our description down below for the beep sound. You can download it there. And I'm just going to drag it on to audio layer two. Zoom in a bit. And I'm going to just have it cover just that section that I've taken out here. Let's take a listen. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna make a few adjustments here. I'm gonna add constant powers to the edges here. And this is optional. It's just to avoid any unnecessary audio pops. And we're gonna bring down the volume of the beep sound. It's a bit too loud. I'm gonna make it negative eight. Let's go. Okay, now for some of you, you may wanna stop here. You just want to bleep out the audio, you're happy, you're good to go. Make sure to leave a like on the way out. But for those who want to go the extra mile, I'm going to add a sensor square on top of his mouth here. This is really easy to do. I'm going to take the text tool here and I'm going to click on the screen. And as you see, it makes a layer here. And I'm going to type in these symbols. Now, if I open up the settings in the effect controls, there's a few things you wanna check off. You wanna make sure the background is checked off under the text. We want the opacity to be at 100. We want the background color to be a pure black. And you can increase or decrease the size of the square right here. Once you're happy with how that looks, we can actually just adjust the size here. I'm going to adjust the scale, bring it down a bit to about here. Let's move it right on top of his mouth here. And we are going to track it to his mouth. Let's set our first keyframe. We'll move it across and we'll move it up. Move it across. Make sure it's still on that mouth there. And we're just going to make a cut right here. Command K, delete. And you can see that we just made a quick tracking job where it follows his mouth. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think it works for the effect that we're going for here. Now let's watch it. I'm Nicholas Cage. Let's get And that's about it, folks. It's a really easy effect to do, and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next. Have a great rest of your day, folks.